good evening friends seniors and clean today i'm going to explain something about polaroid filter and its application for a smartphone photography here i'm going to use We should know some basics about the Polaroid filter. Like I have already told you that seven layer is there in at the screen. So Polaroid filter are usually found at sixth layer. While seventh layer be black colored glue. We need to just remove it very carefully. And seventh layer is clean with spray to remove adherent glue because you know it's very new sometimes it create a very disturbing image and disturb the contrast see here it is my own mobile phone I removed it is it screen here and I cut approximately one inch long rectangular shape filter and fix it to the smartphone in front of my camera see I have applied a filter like that I got this information to use filter through the internet as many professional photographers they use polaroid filter for their usual activities but one very important aspect which i came to know later on when you will use filter the maximum polarization will you come at angle of 45 degree so in second picture i inclined the filter at 45 degree to get the maximum effects here it is demonstration here we could see in the left side the filter is clear and we could see the picture coming through the filter and in left right side this TV screen is black that is all because of the polarization at 45 degree angle it is having maximum polarization so light is not coming out of the filter we have to place the filter in that angle so no unwanted light like a reflection from anterior surface of the cornea anterior surface of the lens they will minimize and we will get a clear sharper and brighter image with polarization we could minimize light reflection from cornea and anterior surface of the lenses and get very sharp image i explained it to you earlier now from a general photograph see there is uh, one photograph has been taken through window they see there is a reflection of light at the anterior surface of the glass in the table and we are not seeing the toys beneath that very clearly another photograph it is taken with the help of polarization at 45 degree sorry the photographs is uh, not very in alignment but it is quite clear that the cars are very much visible and there is no light reflection i applied this theory for taking the photograph for the entire segment as well as for the fundus in this photograph on the left side it is having photograph without a polarization and the right side is having a with polarization you could imagine with this polarization how much picture clear it comes but one more aspect it is important here that polarization will act maximum once the illumination be at the lower level so we have to control the illumination while taking anti-segment photography we can control the illumination by the foot switch at the slit lamp or while for fundus photography there is multiple apps available or some phone has it feature that we can control the illumination for through the phone setting more example for the polarization and non polarization photograph left side without polarization see there are multiple reflection over the banana tree plants and the right side see it is quite clear no reflection left side anti-segment photograph lot of reflection through the entry cornea and for the right side see 
reflection is gone. You could easily see there is a haze in anti surface is gone, anti stromal haze. Without polarization, see here a lot of reflection through the anti anterior lens surface and right side the surface is lens is a beautiful scene. There is no reflection, quite clear image and sharper, brighter image. Some unedited picture I am going to demonstrate to you, which I am usually taking with the polarized filter. Now it is, I am taking all my photographs without with polarized filter. So here, very important, left one, down left, see, there is a photograph with demonstrating cells and the anti-chamber. And if you will zoom it, you could see there is three plus cells. It is all taken with the help of filter otherwise it is very difficult to identify cells it is anti uh, uh, uveitis epithelial defects and viral conjunctivitis yes, it's the simple keratometry feature myers which i have taken the fundus yeah it is a csr we could see quite easily what a huge csr it's a minimal reflection of the light. See, a minimal reflection. But bright, bright filter has been used. My illumination is high, not moderate. And this photograph, so you go with tritis along with the quadratus. And finally, I came to the conclusion that we can document or it would be very helpful if you take a quite good anti segment of fundus photograph through this uh, smartphone now a smartphone is really smart everyone is having it in family without uh, with all a smartphone very comfortable using that it is just a technique we have to develop and with time everyone develop it i hope but i'm sure that uh, with polarization you can take a good quality of image no doubt about that and i hope this demonstration will help you up all and I hope that my mission to teach everyone how important is our smartphone. Don't underestimate our smartphone. It is really very helpful. We could, it could help in our academic also. For documentation, it's important and follow-up important. Our most important fact is our self-satisfaction. Thank you.